along the Mississippi River in Claiborne County. New industries are moving into build up ports and open the area to global trade. Well, natural gas company is just one month away from breaking ground. 12 News' Alex Love was at the town hall meeting. He breaks down what this means for the area. In 2017, President Trump's Tax Cuts and Jobs Act plan created what's called Opportunity Zones for economically distressed areas, giving companies tax benefits who invest in them. Here in Port Gibson, HESCO Energy is answering the call. We are ready to turn some dirt, start construction on the project. Along with Port Gibson Mayor Fred Reeves, people of the town gathered at the community meeting eager to learn about the company HESCO Energy opening a plant in their area. I've lived here all my life and uh, I've seen it go from a, a viable city where you couldn't find a parking spot on Saturdays, Fridays. Now you don't even have a vehicle sitting on Main Street. HESCO's plan is to open a 6,400 acre plant to produce and sell liquefied natural gas to power ships and plants around the nation, totaling around 30,000 jobs. We will first look locally before we will look outside of Claiborne County. And with that, we'll have training programs working with Alcorn State, also Hines Community College, so that we can really help the people here have the first shot at securing these jobs. Liquefied natural gas, also known as LNG, is a fuel source odorless, non toxic, and cooled at minus 260 degrees. Positioning on the Mississippi, it opens up Port Gibson to global trade. We can go worldwide. Uh, basically, we're going to be concentrating in uh, the Caribbean uh, out of Puerto Rico uh, as a hub to deliver uh, uh, fuels. Representatives from Claiborne County Schools were also in attendance, learning as HESCO builds up, the future for students will rise with more funding to schools and education opportunities. He did talk about uh, building new schools, he viewed our schools, and he did talk about technology, so hopefully we can get better things done for our children. Also in attendance at tonight's meeting was the president of Alcorn State University to see how she could get the school involved for students who want to go into the natural gas field and members from the Louisiana governor's office to see how this could bring back an old ferry business that was right on the river. Reporting in Port Gibson, Alex Love, 12 News.